Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's finally time. And this has already been said countless times. Maybe next year, maybe next month, maybe next week, maybe tomorrow. But I finally think this is the week the Switch to Reveal is happening. And we have a pretty exciting video to get into. So let's go ahead and get right into it. It's almost like having deja vu, but not having it just one day, having it every single day, every single week, for multiple months. It's like, man, is the Switch Pro getting revealed? You guys remember the Switch Pro? I remember. Um, then the Switch OLED came out. A few years later, we're like, oh my god. 2024, the Switch 2 is coming out. It's actually coming out that year. Then it was delayed. Once it was delayed, we're like, alright, next month or the month after it gets revealed, doesn't happen. All of that being said, we have a very exciting video to get into, because not only do we have Switch 2 reveal news, we have a leak about a massive Switch 2 game. And if this game is coming over to the Switch 2, then it just shows the power of the Switch 2. So before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. So every single year, there's a game that at least seems like it comes out of nowhere. And I'm not saying the game came out of nowhere, because if you're a Dark Souls fan, or a fan of Souls-like games, then you probably knew about this game. Dark Souls is one of the series I have played absolutely the least. I've probably played a Dark Souls game for about 20 minutes one day. And I actually do want to get into it one day, but at this point I probably feel like I should just wait for a newer game or something. But one of the biggest games to come out in the past few years is already being labeled as one of the greatest games of all time. And for good reason. And I'm talking about Elden Ring. This game had a pretty crazy effect because I would hear people say, yeah, I've never played a Souls-like game in my entire life, and I just finished Elden Ring, and it was an amazing experience. So yeah, I would actually like to play Elden Ring myself. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, a little unforgiving, but you know, a good challenge is always great. Let's humor ourselves just for a second. Could you imagine Elden Ring on the Switch? I wonder what that would look like. Yeah, probably not the greatest, but what about Elden Ring for the Switch 2? This is a leak coming from Nash Weedle. Leak Express. A port of Elden Ring for Switch 2 is in development. Not being considered to be in development, not a rumor that they might want to work on this game, is in development, which will receive the game in a definitive edition. It seems that Virtuous could be responsible for this port, and that it would arrive at the end of 2025. So seeing, that Elden Ring is being worked on for the Switch 2 just shows me that this console is going to be a lot more powerful than I guess we all initially thought. And that is so freaking exciting. Whenever they reveal the Switch 2, I'm sure we're going to see some really cool first party stuff, but the third party stuff is really what's going to sell the console, at least in my opinion. So now ladies and gentlemen, let's get into some Switch 2 reveal news and leaks. We've been saying every single week, this week or next week, this week or next week, never really happened, but this week, it really seems like it's going to happen. And it's not like one source or one leaker saying this. Pretty much across the board, all signs are pointing towards that. So let's start covering some of these leaks. PH Brazil believes the Nintendo Switch 2 is getting revealed this week, specifically on Monday or Tuesday. I don't think it would happen on Monday. Um, not because it couldn't happen, but I feel like they need that 24 hour period of hyping it up. And it doesn't matter when it gets revealed, right? It could get revealed at 4 a.m. on a Sunday or something, and it would probably still have the same effect. But I feel like when you have that 24 hour period, the entire internet lights up and all the speculations start. And it's pretty cool because not only are gaming YouTubers and publications and journalists reporting on this stuff, you even start having people from like outside the gaming world start reporting on it, like Wall Street Journal, or a Bloomberg or something like that. So seeing this right here, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Tuesday. Um, and that might be confirmed, but let's get into another leak first. So one of the biggest modern game leakers. I'll say they have a 85 to 90% track record, which is pretty good in the world of game leaks, has made some very subtle hints that this announcement is coming. And this is Pyro or Piero, I never know how to say their name. I should know this by now. This is their Twitter page. Uh, which is protected. I need to follow them. Anyway, they just have eye emojis and they've changed their banner to the Alarmo. Like, alarm, something's incoming. And I think this is actually their name right here. So they've changed their name to the eye emojis. So that's just a little something extra we could add on to the Switch to reveal happening 
this week. Now, what if we had an actual time, like a countdown for the switch to reveal? I mean, I'll take it, right? We're not saying it's 100% gonna happen because of a countdown, but seeing a bunch of leaks and then the countdown all pointing towards a certain day? Hey, I'm just here to bring the message to you. This is a countdown that's over on Fama boards right now that everybody's starting to pay attention to. And it's very simple to see it. Switch Tour will be revealed in one day, 17 hours, 44 minutes, and now 30 seconds. Um, 24 hours from now would be 4 p.m. on Monday. So Tuesday would be the day that the console gets revealed. And just seeing this in the leaks and the Elden Ring leak and just so much stuff going into it, it's like Nintendo kind of has to reveal the console pretty soon. I've already said it a million times, but if you're releasing the Switch 2 in April or May, you need at least six months to hype up the console to get pieces into place if they reveal it now. The Switch was revealed in October and came out in March. They could reveal this in the end of October and then drop it in April or May or March or whenever the hell they want to release it. But not only do they need to reveal the Switch 2, they kind of need to map out the rest of the Nintendo Switch. Um, we know a few games that are coming up. We have Mario & Luigi next month. We have Donkey Kong in January. And that's pretty much it. So I'm sure they want to announce some stuff for the holidays, right? Maybe bring Nintendo Selects back. Maybe some new Nintendo Switch Online stuff. So maybe on Tuesday we will have a massive Nintendo Direct that not only reveals the Switch 2, but I guess the actual Nintendo Switch era will finally be coming to an end. And that's a crazy thing to say. But ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? I mean, it really doesn't matter what we think at this point. If the console is getting revealed Tuesday or a presentation is happening this week, Nintendo has probably made an announcement by the time you're watching this video, so only time will tell. So as always, in the comments below, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you've made it to this part of the video, follow your boy on Instagram because we are growing over there. And you guys know me, I will see you very soon with a new video. Peace out.